Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Um, I realize that it has been quite a while since I have sat down and filmed a video talking to you guys. So, I figured why not do that today while I have some free time on my hands. So, um, today is just going to be your basic update video. Um, I don't really have a topic to really talk about today. Um, you guys haven't been very active with me, so I don't know what you guys want to hear and what you guys don't want to hear. So, I figured I would just do a regular all-around update on my life, including the things that have happened lately. So, if that sounds good to you, that sounds good to me, and let's start this thing off, alright? Okay, so, the first thing is I had to get new glasses because my eyesight is fucking horrible and my body hates me because my diabetes wants to get into my eyes and even though I take care of it, it still hates me. <laughs> But, uh, you know, whatever, find positive and bad situations. Um, I look awesome in these glasses. Like, can we just... I just don't like the glare that shines off of them. But, um, yes, yeah, so I had to get new glasses. The prescription is stronger, and I cannot drive at night without them. So that is the first update. Um, the second one is in my previous video. I don't know if you've watched it or if my hair was even different. But I have had my hair dyed. Um, it is extremely, extremely faded. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but it is not green. It was like a, like, bluish gray with purple and black and blue in it, and it was really, really, really pretty. Um, I'm thinking my next hair color is probably going to be black and red, only because I enjoy the colors black and red, and they are my favorite colors of life, and why not, right? Um, a few days ago, Sunday, I went to Marietta, Ohio, which is a small town in Ohio where, from what I've heard, nothing happens, and I went to, I think it's Adelphia, if I'm saying that wrong, please forgive me, I don't mean any offense to anyone, but Adelphia Music Hall in Marietta, Ohio, and I saw, oh my god, <laughs> I saw Violent New Breed and Drowning Pool, and it melted my goddamn face off. It was one of the most mind-blowing, intense, best shows I've ever been to in my life, and I've been to quite a few shows in my short lifespan. Um, so, I the first band to come on, I got there at about 4.30, the concert started at 8, um, I was in the front row. And uh, I met some cool people, and they stuck by me and my friend Kelly the entire show. Um, and the first band to go on was Violent New Breed. Um, if you know anything about me, I have always been a ginormous Max Green fan. Um, he helped me get through my addiction with cutting. Um, he made me feel like I had a friend when I didn't have anybody really in this world. And I just felt like I wasn't as alone, and he helped me realize that I didn't need to hurt myself, and that if he could fucking do it, so could I. And guys, I shit you not, I had a personal conversation with Max Green outside the venue. We smoked a cigarette together, I told him my story, I heard part of his story, I thanked him, I got like three hugs. This dude is the chillest, most relaxed dude that I've ever met in my life. And honestly, I was, I'm surprised I kept my cool, but I told him, you know, it always been a huge dream to just have a conversation with him. And he just seemed so, gen like, just genuinely humbled by the fact that I came six hours to go and see him and that I wanted to share my story with him. And he was great. And me and my friend Kelly also got to hang out with Mikey, which is the guitarist of Violent New Breed, and he is the sickest person, I swear. He's so nice, he's so down to earth, he's so cool. Both of these guys, 10 out of 10, hands down, I would kill to see again. Hell, I mean, it would be a dream come true to just hang out with him for a little bit, you know? Um, I realize I'm not as big of a fangirl as I thought I was, and I think that shocked some people that saw me actually having conversation with them because I was treating them like actual human beings. Like, they were just somebody that I ran into on the street who just so happened to help me, you know? And uh, I think that's 
a big reason why they didn't mind spending so much time talking to me. And it was really cool. You know, uh, they added me on Facebook and, you know, they liked some of my tweets. And um, I can't wait to see them again at Extreme Thing, which is going to be awesome. And hell, maybe I'll run into them when I go to LA this summer. Um, now on to Drowning Pool. Oh my god, guys. Drowning Pool was so sick. And throughout the entire concert, they were like Jason and CJ, which is the lead singer and the guitarist were like looking over my way and smiling and they were like looking at everybody and waving at everybody and posing for pictures on stage and they God, they touched my hands. CJ held my hand and Jason touched my hand twice and I got winked at and it God, God. <laughs> I got a guitar pick. CJ personally handed me the guitar pick that he had used throughout the entire concert. He reached and he handed it to me. Um, I don't have it on me right now. I also have Mikey's guitar pick, one of them, and it was, oh my god. So after the show, um, I was leaning up against the wall in the venue, and CJ sees me, and he comes up to me, and he hugs me, and we talk, and we talk about paranormal shit, and I get a picture with him, and um, if you guys are interested, I will insert the pictures that I got of Max, Mikey, and CJ in the video somewhere towards the beginning or the end, or maybe just right here. I don't know but no really these people were so rad and my thing is if you're famous if you're a fan of somebody famous you know they're really no different than us they're just people who got the chance to live their dream and wanted to make a difference and wanted to make music and I saw some girls there, not gonna say any names, not trying to pass any judgment, you know. You wear whatever the fuck makes you comfortable, you, you act however the fuck you wanna act, you know, make yourself happy. But I just feel like, yes, I'm sure it makes them feel good, but, you know, don't treat them like they're some immortal. You know, they're people, and... You know, I'm sure that they would love to have a normal person conversation with you. And I'm sure that they would be so fucking stoked to hear what you have to say, you know. But don't drool over them. Because I know a lot of band members that I have personally met. Not saying that it's these guys, but that I have met in the past. It makes them uncomfortable. And it makes them want to speed up the conversation. Um, that and the fact of, of course, how many fans they have out. But I love the fact that after the show, they came out onto the venue and they signed shit, they took pictures, they had conversations. Me and my friend were in the venue after most of the fans had gone home and they were already packing up and cleaning up the stage and shit. And it was just, it was one of the hands down best nights of my life. Which leads me into my next thing. I am going to motherfucking Extreme Thing 2016 in Las Vegas, Nevada. So if any of you beautiful motherfuckers are going to be there and you see me, come up and say hi. Give me a hug. I would love to hug you and meet you, you know? I'm always good for friends. So, yeah, me and my friend Kelly are going to be at Extreme Thing in Las Vegas, Nevada on April 2nd, 2016. And we're going to party. We're going to party really fucking hard. And it's going to be amazing. And we're going to watch some bands that are going to melt our faces off, which include Violent New Breed, New Year's Day, Escape the Fate, Bless the Fall, and so many other fucking bands, guys. So if you have the means, if you have a car, if you're old enough, obviously, go to Extreme Thing, man. Go and have the time of your life because it's like work tour, but a little bit bigger. So uh, yeah, definitely go there. No, I'm not sponsored, by the way. I'm just super stoked. And I guess that brings me to my last thing that happened today. I uh, got my own apartment. I have a place of my own. I move in May 2nd. And um, that means my filming background is going to be changing. And we are going to switch shit up. And that hopefully means that after things kind of die down and calm down for me, there will be more videos for you guys. And... I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe things will look up a little bit. Things have been really fucking tough lately. I've had a hard time, especially dealing with my depression and fighting relapse, but I have not relapsed and I'm very proud of myself for that. And if you guys have not relapsed, I am very proud of you. And even if you have, I am still fucking proud of you because you're beautiful and it is normal to feel the way that you do. So don't ever let anybody tell you that it's not. Um... So yeah, I mean, those are the biggest updates. I mean, I got a couple more piercings since the last time you guys saw me. 
and I also got a new tattoo so I guess I will share those with you so I now have both sides of my nose pierced if you can see that so both sides my septum my philtrum I got my vertical redone I have my tongue pierced um, I have my belly button pierced, which I just got a new belly button ring, and it is Pikachu, and it is sick as hell. And I have, if you guys can see it, this beautiful thing on my back, and it, uh, it's an extremely personal tattoo. It's a memorial to everybody that has been in my life and passed, and everybody who has helped me in my life. And on the back, it says, I lost my fear of falling, I will be with you. Um... And yeah, guys, that's what's going on in my life. And you know what? I would love to hear what's going on in your guys' lives. So leave a comment about what's going on with you guys. You know, how's school? How's work? Are you graduated? Are you not graduated? What grade are you in? You know, are you are you a freshman? Are you having problems in, in school? If you guys want, I can make a video on my high school experience and what I had to do. Um, you know, how is your family? How's your boyfriend, your girlfriend? Are you single? Are you not single? Did you just get broken up with? Do you want to eat a bunch of cookies with me? Because I like cookies and um, oh god, now I want a cookie. Huh. <laughs> but anyway, that is all of the news that I really have for you guys this week. So, as always, you are fucking beautiful. Don't ever change and it is okay to be exactly who you are. And I will see you guys sometime next week. Bye.